Hi, Lee. Good to see you. Hi, sweet. Always lovely seeing you. Yes. I wouldn't be seeing anyone if it weren't for you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Somebody could have fixed you. I don't think so. Yeah, it was a rough time. It was a rough time. But it's all good now. Yes. I remember going to the first doctor that I saw in Los Angeles who made me feel like I was going to die. That like there was a 50% chance that I was going to die. It was a very, very, very traumatic time. Mostly because I was worried I wouldn't see my child grow up because I really knew little about it. And at this point, there was no cure. So what made you start treating patients diagnosed with hepatitis C? Oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got it myself. Well, I stuck myself with a needle when I was a medical student, and I got real sick, actually. It was pretty ugly. Oh, wow. I was, yeah, I was bright yellow. And then I finally got treated twice, both for 18 months. First time, didn't work. And then the second time, uh, I was cured. So I've been cured now for almost 20 years. So when I met you, I thought to myself, this is the only guy I'm going to put my life in charge of. <laughs> I must have seen six other doctors, and they were all old farts. <laughs> well, thanks. I feel special. No, you are special. You're the most special person. You're just the most fantastic doctor. All your patients adore you. Do you feel better after you're cured? I felt fantastic. I just got fat, that's all. <laughs> because previously, I wasn't allowed to drink. And then as, when, as soon as I was cured, I was like, yay! It's just like a celebratory explosion. <laughs> In moments of doubt and adversity, how do you pick yourself up? I believe that you have to use your pain. That that's what it's for. Become bigger than yourself. And that's when I realized this is going to be my life and I decided to create Keep a Child Alive to provide antiretroviral drugs to children and families in Africa. Keep a Child Alive has managed to save over two million lives. No, me, it's my turn, babe. Oh, okay, sorry. That's what I have, too. Would you like to marry me? <laughs> I'd love to, but I think my wife would object. Oh, well, that's upsetting. <laughs> no, what would you like to ask me? Now that you're cured, what, you know, how has it changed your life? What do you want to do with the rest of your life? The problem with hepatitis C, in the same way as HIV, is that you just don't have symptoms often until it's too right. late. And then when it's too late, you really are in trouble because you can't live without a liver. The take home message is it's easy to get tested, it's easy to get treated, and it's even easier to get cured. Yeah, this, this is easy. This is the great, great difficult cure that now can be cured. So right. that's the thing. I'd like to advocate much, much more for it. Okay, good. Well, we'll take you up on that. Yeah. Okay, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Mm -hmm.